Thank you, Dr. Hiroshi. A very good afternoon to all of you here, and thank you to ITU and MIC for making uh, my trip here possible. I'll be spending some time talking to you on the use of ICT in weather forecasting as employed by the Malaysian Meteorological Department. My, the scope of my presentation here, I'll begin with an introduction, followed by the role of the Malaysian Meteorological Department, and also the weather forecasting system currently in use in our department, and I will end up with a summary of uh, the important points. Uh, in recent years, there has been uh, an increase in the severity as well as the frequency of our severe weather hazards in Malaysia. And last year alone, uh, in 2007, there were two uh, major heavy rainfall events in Malaysia, which uh, had caused uh, floods, major floods to uh, various parts of the, uh, the country, especially the east, east coast states of the of Peninsula Malaysia, where the damages to infrastructure, the property, as well as the uh, loss of livelihood were estimated to be in millions of uh, dollars. And uh, in view of the um, increasing number of hazards uh, in Malaysia and also globally, uh, there is uh, an urgent need for uh, meteorological uh, services, meteorological departments, uh, especially in, uh, also in Malaysia, to uh, provide or to have a more efficient as well as an effective weather forecasting as well as uh, early warning system. And there is also increasing demand from our stakeholders for us to really have an efficient and effective uh, delivery system in order to reduce the losses or the uh, losses or damages to uh, properties as well to the, uh, loss of lives. And um, of course, ICT is a, facilit a facilitator for the uh, establishment of such a system. I'll uh, talk about some weather-related hazards that uh, can affect Malaysia. Even though Malaysia is uh, relatively safe compared to our neighbors, our neighbors such as probably Indonesia, Philippines, we are relatively really safe from major uh, disasters. However, there are some hazards that uh, have the potential of affecting our country, and such hazards are uh, uh, in the form of wind storms from typhoons. Even though we don't have, there has not been many uh, typhoons that have direct impact or made direct landing on our shores. Nevertheless, uh, typhoons which are uh, in the nearby uh, seas do have uh, its impacts on the uh, weather condition or the, the, the sea condition uh, of our shores. And we also have uh, floods um, which are worsened by the uh, existence or the presence of La Nina. And we also do uh, experience uh, periods of um, uh, prolonged uh, droughts, uh, period of dry weather. Uh, which is exaggerated or amplified by El Nino. And we also have uh, impacts from storm surges and also haze or transboundary haze, also local hazes uh, caused by uh, local fires as well as fires uh, from um, uh, our neighboring countries. Now, the role of the Malaysian Military Department is to monitor the weather and sea condition closely. And from this monitoring activity, we issue forecasts as well as warnings to various uh, clients, to the, uh, to the public as well as to the mass media. And the, uh, the next one is the, f the uh, forecasting system that we, we use. Uh, basically, a forecasting system in any country comprises of uh, or comprises uh, the uh, four components, uh, observation uh, or monitoring, and then followed by communication or telecommunication, and then modeling and assessment, as well as the dissemination of the uh, forecast, as well as the warnings. Now let's start with the weather monitoring or the weather observation system, which uh, 
uh, consists of uh, airborne, land-based, as well as marine-based uh, sensors. We have observation from using uh, balloons. We have from the uh, reports from aircrafts. We are also utilizing or downloading, uh, receiving data from satellites. Uh, we don't have weather satellites of our own, but we use uh, the satellites from uh, JMA, from China, as well as from the U.S., and we also uh, receive data from the uh, Earth Saving Ship Program or uh, VOS. And we also have uh, w weather, weather buoys. Uh, there are two weather buoys currently installed in our, sh in our uh, uh, waters for receiving uh, oceanographic uh, uh, data. And we also have a network of uh, radars for monitoring uh, uh, the current weather or using it in now casting. Now the, um, this is the uh, full look at the system, the four components uh, um, uh, in one, in one uh, diagram. Uh, from the left hand side is the monitoring and observation and in addition to data from our local observa observational network, we also receive data through the Global Telecommunication System or GTS uh, and also the FTN or Aeronautical Fixed Telecommunication Network. And also we uh, using or we receiving data nowadays a lot from the internet. And as my mentioned by Mr. Hiroyuki, uh, WIS is uh, gaining in popularity. We are currently testing our, G our WIS connection with uh, countries such as Japan. And uh, uh, currently the tests uh, are very encouraging. And from the monitoring, uh, you have um, the data are related to the uh, computer processing and modeling uh, uh, center, which is located in our headquarters. Here we run a variety of model. From the um, uh, MM5, uh, we also running wave models as well as uh, regional models, including storm surges. And uh, this is the place of the uh, computer processing and assessment center. Is the place where we uh, make an evalu evaluation of what the weather is uh, going to be, we make a forecast of uh, what is the expected condition, and we um, make discussion or we conduct discussions using uh, video con conferencing uh, with our other regional offices. The, the central office conducts uh, video conferencing session every day. And from this, we, um, uh, from this discussion, we uh, form what is uh, the weather going to, to be like, the situation for the next few days, or even for uh, four months. And the uh, information or the warning uh, forecast are then uh, disseminated or uh, sent to our uh, clients using a variety of means such as uh, using uh, fax, we're using uh, the web as a uh, means of uh, uh, getting the information across. You're using also the FTN, JTS uh, as well, email, uh, telephone calls uh, for uh, very urgent cases. And also we are leveraging SMS uh, as a means of uh, communicating getting the data quickly because in, in disaster, in the event of uh, a crisis, you need to get information as quickly as possible to a variety of uh, the disaster management agencies, the people who make decisions on what, what to, to do for uh, to mitigate the impact of the disaster. And our clients, of course, ranges from, uh, we have our internal clients, uh, the, we also have uh, clients from uh, the Navy, the military, uh, air traffic controller, flight operator, and also uh, as um, uh, down also to the oil and gas uh, people, those uh, that are uh, producing, uh, doing operational work in the sea, we need to inform them about what is the weather signation going to be like for them to, to conduct the operation safely. And the type of products that we produce, um, uh, this is the products uh, generated by the models. 
we have the uh, expected precipitation or uh, forecast of precipitation. We also have the uh, what the we, uh, the sea condition is going to be like, wave forecast, and also the wind, uh, wind uh, forecast of the wind condition. And uh, also we use the data or use the maps uh, generated by other centers such as NOAA, NSEP, to um, to complement our existing our own uh, data or the the maps that we generate ourselves. Uh, in concluding, in concluding, I would say that um, ICT the use of ICT should be encouraged should be encouraged, uh, especially the use of SMS and also web based applications because uh, warnings and uh, forecasts they are updated uh, very often in event of crisis they they are update, updated and uh, sms and web based applications have been found to be uh, very uh, efficient at uh, uh, at this uh, at the, uh, to achieve this and also the forecasting system that we we have must be an integrated system it is an end to end solution but currently there is still some lack of uh, integration in the system. Uh, there's uh, still a lot of manual, manual input or manual intervention uh, in the forecasting. We need to build a system which is uh, fully integrated, and we are currently upgrading our ICT facilities to, to achieve this. And also, um, on the human element side, on the human capital, we need to to uh, really develop the human capital uh, because the system must be uh, people centered you must focus on the on the people the, uh, the operator of the system must be well versed with uh, the current technology uh, of how to improve the system and also to operate it and also the public the general public uh, is the system will not be uh, of use if the public or the receiver, the the customers, they are not um, aware of uh, what are the uh, steps to be taken to uh, to uh, if they receive uh, they receive a warning or forecast what what they should do. So we are um, uh, promoting the uh, awareness campaigns. We are conducting awareness campaigns throughout our country, and um, we have done so for tsunami as well as for earthquakes. But we uh, we are still lacking. We are still lagging, or we haven't haven't done much in terms of the weather, um, the weather side of it. And we hope that this year we can conduct more of uh, public awareness campaigns to educate our our people on um, the uh, uh, safety measures to be taken in the event of um, severe weather or other type of disasters. I think uh, I would like to end my uh, talk today. Uh, thank you.